Now we have the .mo translation file that gettext needs, we can configure gettext to use it. First, we'll call the setLocale function, passing in the locale variable. This sets the locale code that PHP uses. Then we need to tell gettext which file to use. The file name of the mo file, without the .mo extension, is referred to as a translation domain, or just a domain. For instance, we created messages.mo, so the domain is messages. We'll be using the domain in several functions, so let's create a variable with the domain name. Then, we set the domain that getText is going to use by calling the text domain function. The default domain is actually messages, so this step in our case is optional. Then, we need to tell getText where the translation files are. We do this with the bind text domain function, passing in the domain and the name of the folder where the files are. Ours is called locales, so that's what we pass in. Calling this function like this will make getText look in the locales folder, then for the folder for the current locale, which we set above, then the LC messages folder. As all we can specify here is the name of the parent folder, this is why we need to adhere strictly to this folder structure. Finally, we need to tell getText what encoding the file uses, which we do with the bind text domain code set function. We pass in the domain and the encoding we're using. As we learnt earlier on in the course, we need to use UTF-8 to include all the characters we need. Let's give that a try. The English version of the site looks the same as before, with nothing translated. If we change to the Spanish version, then it's still shown in English. If you're following along coding this yourself, and this did work for you, then great. However, depending on your operating system, you might need also one or both of these calls. These set environment variables that you might need to get getText working. Now in the browser, it works. The site is shown in Spanish. If you still haven't managed to get it working using this code, then don't worry. GetText is notoriously tricky to get working properly in PHP. It depends heavily on your operating system and web server, and if you're using Linux, it will only translate to a locale if you have that locale package installed locally. Plus, if you're using Apache, it will cache the .mo translation file. So if you make changes to this file, you have to restart the web server to see the results in the browser. So why did we just go through this? Basically, so you could see how to use getText in PHP. If you can get it working and you're happy with its limitations, then there's no problem using it. Having said that, there's an easier alternative which still allows us to use .mo files. So we can still use tools like PoEdit, but it has none of the limitations of getText. We'll look at that next.